hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ty and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a super cute pair of peplum um, pants and before you get started on this video tutorial I want to make sure you know that I actually show you how to create the pants the straight leg pant pattern um, that I use for this tutorial in part one in another video so make sure you go check that video out and I'll leave that link in the description bar below and um yeah so about this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to um create the super cute peplum pants i don't know if you guys have seen them or whatever but what i'll do is i'll show you like some examples right here on the screen so you can kind of get a little bit of inspiration before we get into the tutorial but there's so many different types of um peplum patterns you can do a full peplum you can do a partial peplum where you have um just the peplum starting in the center of in the center of both legs and then going around to the back or start in the center of both legs and go around to the center of the back and um it's just so many different ways you can make them you can make them high low you can make them short you can make um like it's it's so many different um designs and as you can see i'm showing you a few here and i just want you to kind of get inspired by some of the pictures here and get inspired by um, some of the designs so you can kind of get an idea of how you want to create your peplum pan pattern and in this video I'm going to be doing a partial peplum to where the peplum starts in the center of both um, front pant legs so it's going to start right in the center of the front darts on both pant legs and it's going to go all the way around to the back zipper so it's going to go all the way around to the center now if you want to do it to where it starts in the front dart and then goes all the way around to the back dart you can do that and it's, it doesn't go all the way around the back um, you can do that or if you want it to do just the front dart to the center to the um the outer seam of the pants or whatever but um, in this video I'm gonna be doing it from the front to the back all the way around to the back so it's not gonna be a full all around peplum it's gonna be um, from the front to the back so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And like I said before, go check out the pattern drafting tutorial for these pants. And um, I think I've covered everything in this video. And also, let me add that I install a zipper in this pant. So I also have a zipper installation tutorial as well because I'm not going to go in depth with the pattern drafting and the zipper installation because I already have two videos for that. So make sure and I'll leave both video links in the description bar below. So make sure you go check those videos out. Um, so you can go ahead and create you some super cute stylish um, peplum pants and with these pants as well you can make them whatever length you want. So I made mine a little cropped and you can make yours full length or you can make them capri length or how, however long you want them. You be creative with how you want your personal style to be and how you want these pants to turn out. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the inspiration <laughs> that I have for you. And yeah so let's go ahead and get into the video tutorial. All right. All right, so here you see I have a back pant leg pattern laid out and now I'm putting a front leg pattern on top of it because I'm going to go ahead and create um, a left and right pant leg. So I'm going to sew along the outer seam of both a um, front and back pant pattern. You want to make sure that the right sides are facing. Now I'm taking the two pants leg and I'm putting them on top of each other, lining the front and back curve. And I'm going to go ahead and sew along the curve. And what I did was for the back, the front, I completely sewed all the way up to the waist. And for the back, I kept um, partial. I only sewed up the curve and then left the straight part open for the zipper installation. So make sure you do that. Now with the pan still facing inside out, I am going ahead and closing the end seam. So I'm um, pinning the, the curve and now I'm going to sew from the hem of the left leg all the way to the hem of the right leg to make the um, inner seam closure. Alright, so now our pants are 
constructed. Now we have an open zipper. We have our two, um, no, actually our four um, darts that are still open. So what I'm doing right now is I'm closing my back dart only and I'm going, I'm gonna go ahead and sew my back darts only. So your pants, like I said before, should still be facing inside out. So go ahead and sew the back darts only. All right, now with the back dart sewn and the zipper still open, the zipper closure still open, now I am going to measure from the front dart. Well, first I'm gonna measure the length of the front dart. And then I'm gonna measure from that front dart all the way to the back zipper. And then I'm going to measure the length of the back zipper. So those will be your three measurements that you need to create the, the peplum for your pants. So go ahead and measure that, the length of the front dart. And add a quarter inch seam allowance to um, that number to allow hemming. So make sure you add a quarter inch seam allowance to the length of your dart and the length of your zipper for um, hemming purposes. All right, so right now I'm folding my fabric for my peplum in half, hamburger style or hot dog style, and then I'm folding it again hamburger style. And what I'm doing is I'm going to my circle skirt calculator, calculator and I do have a video where I get, break down the steps on how to get the radius of a peplum and how to create a peplum. So make sure you go check that video out and I'll leave it in an info link um, on this video here. And also in the description bar. So what I'm doing right now is I'm marking um, the radius of my waist and then I mark the length of the zipper because the zipper length is much longer than the front dart length so make sure you mark the length of your zipper and then go ahead and cut out your peplum and you'll be cutting two pieces so go ahead if you want to do it the way I'm doing it now just lay one the other piece the one that you've already cut on top of your fabric and go ahead and cut out another piece You wanna make sure that your half circle, the way it was folded, go ahead and open it up to that half circle and cut open on one side of that half circle. Then you wanna measure the mark um, as far as the length of your front dart. Measure that on that side and go ahead and mark it. And then you're gonna create a curve like I'm showing you here. You're gonna create a curve From that mark, from that point, you're gonna create a curve all the way to the center of that half circle. Like I'm showing you here. Now you do not wanna cut right now. So remember you only have that cut open on that one side. So now you wanna open up your circle all the way and like I said, it should still be one open side, one cut open side. And once you open it up all the way, that's when you wanna go ahead and cut along that curve and that mark that you created. And it should look something similar to this here. It's like a, um, a high-low circle or peplum effect. So make sure you do not cut along that curve until you open your circle completely. Now be sure to hem both of your ruffles before you attach them to the pan and follow along the next step. All right, now it's time to attach our peplum to um, the waistline of our pants before we add on our waist um, belt or our waistband. Now, 
right here I'm showing you that I already have one side completed where I hem the zipper part and then I held from the zipper to the front dart and then I closed my front dart. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pin on our ruffle on, from the front dart to the zipper. We're going to go ahead and pin our ruffle to our pant. All right, and let's sew along that waist that waistline. And now I'm pinning down my front peplum. I'm sorry, I'm pinning down my front dart and I'm closing my front dart. All right, and now it's time to go ahead and pin down the zipper part and attach the peplum to the zipper. And I am surging, so it made it much easier for me to add, attach my zipper, but now we're gonna go ahead and add our waistband. All right, so there you see a chart of the measurement that you will need. You will need it to be four inches thick, and you want it to be the width of your calculated waist. Now, the step, the extra step that you see me taking here is Pretty much it's not necessary for you. You can, just to simplify it, just make the make the um, waistband the length or the width of your calculated waist and make it four inches thick. And um, from this point here, then you wanna follow along the steps. And that's pretty much by folding that waistband in half and sewing along that open seam and attaching it to the waist of your pants. So that's what you're seeing me do here. I'm now taking that um, waistband that I folded in half and depending on your fabric, you can add um, interfacing or whatever that you um, feel to make it, if you want it to make it a little stiffer or sturdier, you can do that. But all I'm doing now is I'm pinning my waistband, my folded waistband along the waist of my pants and then I'm going to surge it now I'm going to go ahead and surge those open seams of the waistband to make it easier for me to attach my zipper and give it a cleaner look And I have an in-depth tutorial on how to attach a basic zipper closure, so be sure to go check that out. I'll leave it in the info bar above. So I'm not gonna go into details on how I attach my zipper. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing here. I'm attaching my zipper, and the zipper is now attached. So our pants are pretty much complete. Now all we have to do is just hem the bottom. And once you go ahead and hem your pants, you will be um, done with your project. And what I ended up doing is um, I added a little interfacing, double-sided interfacing on my pants to create a seamless look. Now what you could do is you could go ahead and just give it a double fold and go ahead and give it a basic straight stitch. So this step here that I'm doing, that you see me doing, is definitely not necessary at all. This is just what how I wanted to hem my pants. But like I said before, you just give it a double roll and then um, pretty much do a double roll stitch, a double roll hem. Just roll it twice and give it a straight stitch and you'll be all done. So that's it guys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And like I said, be sure to go ahead and the, go into the description bar to check out all of the video links um, that you need for this video tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I want you to always remember to be beautifully you and stay blessed, you guys. All right, bye. All right, thank you.
you guys so much for watching it. Washing? Okay.